بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم so inshallah moving on we discussed yesterday alamat al ism the signs by which you can recognize that the word is an ism and we said wa huwa an we said mu'rab an sadi ism we know what the signs are that alamat lafziyah alamat ma'nawiyah the alamat lafziyah can come begin of the kalima or the end of the kalima now we're looking at alamat al the types of ism in terms of mu'rab and mabni so we have here naw'a al ismi the two types of nouns wa huwa darban there are two darb so darb, no, they all mean the same thing, types. Wahuwa darban, and huwa refers to ism. So ism is two types. Type number one is mu'rabun, and the second type is mabniyun. Mabniyun comes on the next slide. Now he's describing and defining what a, uh, mabini, what a mu'rab is. So a mu'rab, so we have mu ism, mu'rab and mabni, and then mabni is mabni al-kasr, mabni al-fat, mabni al-dham, and mabni al sukun. So these are the three types of mabni. Now what he's saying here, وَهُوَ مَا يَتَغَيَّرُ أَوَاخِرُهُ تَغَيَّرَ is to change. What's تَغَيَّرَ mean? To change. So he says here, to change. And أَوَاخِرُهُ is the plural of آخِر. So أَوَاخِر endings. So a mu'rab is that whose ending changes. Ba, because of, due to, because of or due to. Is that word whose ending changes due to the awamil. What does awamil mean? We did it before many times. What does it mean? Yeah, the governing words. Those words which cause the word, those nouns, verbs, or particles which cause change to other words. So, for example, lan makes the word after it mansub, uh, lam makes the word after it manzoom, fi makes the ism after it majrood. So, awamil, we've done this in a whole book already. So, due to the governing words, adakhila is a knot of awamil which enter unto them or which precede them. So, adakhila means to enter, but we say here precede. So, we say here which precede them. Alayhi, proceed upon it, I proceed it. So a mu'rab, huwa ma yatagayyaru akhiruhu bisabab al-awamil al-dakhilati alayhi. It is that word whose ending changes due to the awamil which precede it. Kazaydin. So the word Zayd, if the amil which comes before it changes, it also changes. Ja'a Zaydun. So Ja'a makes it Zaydun. Inna Zaydan Qa'imun. So Inna makes it Zaydan. Marartu bi Zaydin. You have Zaydin Majroor. So this is a Mu'rab. Why? Because this words, this words ending changes due to the varying Awamil which precede it. Understood? Yes? Okay. And the opposite of Mu'rab is Mabani. So what does that mean? There's two ways to define it. Easy way is this one. وَهُوَ مَا لَا يَتَغَيَّرُ آخِرُهُ بِسَبَبِ مَا يَدْخُلُ عَلَيْهِ Is that word which does not change because of an amil which comes before it. That's a shara. Only the brown is a, is a mutton. This is on the shara. This is in the shara. Another way he explained it, he says, الَّذِي يَلْزَمُ تَرِيقَةً وَاحِدَةً That word which is fixed on one way. Okay, but this is a better definition because it matches the definition before. So wa mabni, so that wahuwa darban, mu'rabun, wahuwa ma yatagayyaru awakhiluhu bil awami bi sabab il awamili dahilati alay, wa mabaniyun, wahuwa bi khilafihi. And mabani is khilaf contrary. Contrary or opposite. It is contrary or opposite to it. Do you understand? Are you following me? Yes? So for example, the word hadha, hadha never changes. Right, jaa hadha, so hadha is marfu, it still says hadha. Ra'aytu hadha, I saw that man or this man, it stayed mansub, but it doesn't change. Marartu bi hadha, I passed by this man, ya nadartu ila hadha, it doesn't change. Do you understand? Anybody following me? Any questions so far? Muhammad, you following? Okay. Now one question here, how would I read this, this word here? 
Who did he read this? How did he read this? Haza kita buhu. Is it fi kita b? How would I read it? He. So now the word who is a zamir, and zamirs are what? Zamirs are mabani. So why is it changing? Do you understand the question? A zamir should not change. A zamir should remain the same throughout. Yes. So a a mu'rab is that which changes. بِسَبَبِ الْأَوَامِلْ الْدَاخِلَةِ عَلَيْهِ And this is not changed because of the amil. This has changed because of pronunciation purposes. So even though some pronouns have a ch change in pronunciation, you have here كِتَابُهُمْ غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهُمْ يَعَلَيْهِمْ عَلَيْهِمْ This is not because of the awamil. It's not majrua change in Arab. It's just changed because of pronunciation. So this is still mabani. Do you understand Muhammad? Umar? Yeah? Okay. And now he's given us examples of different types of mabani. Because mabani, we said there's four types of mabani. Mabani al al kas, mabani al al fat, mabani al al dham, and mabani al al sukun. So he's saying here, ka, like, ha ulai fi lizum al kasri. Like the word ha ula fi lizum al kasr. In kasr, meaning the, it must have a kasr. So luzum compulsory, like the compulsion of kasr, meaning ha ula always has what at the end of it? What does it have at the end of it? A kasr. So this is now mabni al kasr. Remember one thing: when we mention a mu'arab haraka, what the nuhat do? They say, for example, zaidan. What did he say? Bi zaidin. What does zaid have on it? A. What does it have? Kasra. It says Kasra. And Ha'ula'i has Kasrun. They don't put Ta'ma Rabuta. So when it's a Mabni Haraka, you say Kasr. When it's Mu'arab, you say it's Majroorun Bil Kasrati. So you say here, this is Mabniyun. No, so sorry. This is Majroorun with a Kasra. You put Ta'ma Rabuta. And this is Mabniyun Alal Kasri. Without the Ta'ma. So Mabniyun. Alal Kasri. So it's a Mu'arab Arab, you put the ta marbuta at the end. Fatha Dhamma Kasra. Fathatun Dhammatun Kasratun. When it's a Mabani Haraka, you say Kasrun, Fathun and Dhammun. Understood? Does everybody understand? Yeah? Luzum compulsion. Lazim is compulsion. Like Ha'ula. In it having a necessary kasra, in it always having, we can also say compulsion, so always. Always having, like ha'ula, in the way it always has a kasr. Yes? So it is it, compulsory necessary for ha'ula to have a kasr. So ka fi luzumil kasr, like ha'ula, in it having always having a kasr or in it being necessary to have a kasr understood yes now what he's mentioned here he's mentioned mabni al kasr and he's mentioned one mabni is called muttafaq alay so muttafaqun alay is unanimous unan i'm going to spell this wrong unanimous meaning everybody agrees is mabni al kasr like haula but he's mentioned two words, ha'ula, kasr. He's mentioned two words which is not unanimous. Some people, because again, you have to remember, for example, remember that you watched that video with um, Jordi's or, or and live with different accents. Okay, what do you call breakfast? Brachi. So in, in um, nine Jordi, in Liverpool, Scousers, they say brachi. They don't say breakfast, they call brachi breakfast. It's a brachi. And what else? They call it town toon. I'm going to toon. But toon is town. So they pronounce the word town and toon different. So we say town and they say toon. Okay? So it's different enunciation. So even in the Arab, Arab word, in, 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 like when Arabic, in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu and around that time, different tribes had certain variations in their grammar. So 
Hijaz is like the western part of the Arabian Peninsula Mecca, Medina, what we have Jidda now but Obviously it wasn't that important at the time Jidda It was Mecca, Medina, Hijaz, the western part So they had one way of speaking and Not very different, but a few rules different And there's another tribe on the east Different tribe, Banu Tamim, etc They spoke slightly different, slight variations So he's saying here The word Hadami and the word Amsi According to Ahlul Hijaz This is what? Mabini al Kasra as well. Other tribe, but remember the Quran is in the Logha, the dialect of the Quraysh. And the Quraysh is Ahlul Hijaz. Okay? So Hijaz is what basically? So Hijaz, the plural of Hijazi. So Hijaz is the area. A Hijazi is a person who lives in Hijaz. And the plural of that is Hijazi Yuna. And this is Hijazi Yina because it's Mudaf Ilay. And basically, we could put here Quraysh and like people of Makkah. People of Medina, more detail later on, but for now that's basics. The rest of Arabia. Okay? So in the, when they speak, the word Hadami and the word Amsi are also Mabini al Kasri. Do you understand? Do you understand what's happening here? Wa kadhalika, likewise. So likewise, Hadami and Amsi are also Mabini, but not according to everybody. According to, in the Logha, we say here the dialect. According to the dialect of the people of Hijaz, Ahadami and Amsi are also what? Mabni al al -Kasr. Do you understand? Everybody following? Yes? Any questions so far? Now, Hadami is a name. So, so Hadami is a, Amsi is one particular word. And Hadami is a group of words. What does it refer to? Alamul Mu'annah What does Alam mean? Alam, a name So any name, a feminine name On the pattern of Fa'ali For example, Qatami It's another name, Qatami So you got a name of a female On the pattern of Fa'ali Then what happens is Mabni al Kasr According to the people of Hijaz so it can be Fa'ali, it can be Qatami, Hadami, and any other word on this pattern. And the Amsi is only one word. The word Amsi is going to be what? Mabini Alal Kasri. Do you understand? Everybody following me? Yes? Okay. Everybody following me so far? No, we finish off here, but one rule. Amsi is a very important regarding the word Amsi. The word Amsi can be used two ways, even according to the Hijaz. One is Mabani, one is Mu'rab. When is it Mabani? If it is Mabani, when... Okay, let's, let's see what is Mu'rab first. It's Mu'rab in three situations. When it's Mudaf. So for example, if you use the word Ams as a Mudaf, it's not Mabani al-Kasr. It becomes Mu'rab. So for example, if I say, if it's Udhifa, i.e. it becomes Mudaf. If I say, Kana amsuna yawman jameelan. Yesterday, our yesterday was a very beautiful day. Something really good happened. So because amsuna, what is amsuna becoming Turkey? Isam of Kana. But what's amsuna, the structure of amsuna? Look at it carefully. What's the structure? It's Mudaf, Mudaf, Ilay. So because ams is Mudaf, it becomes Mu'rab. And you say, Kana amsuna yawman jameelan. It's marfu because it's now mudaf. Similarly, if it has alif lam, it becomes alif lam, as, it becomes mu'arab mu as well. So in the Quran, it has a kasra, but it's not mabni here, it's mu'arab. For example, the person said to Musa, Qatalta nafsam bil amsi, you killed somebody yesterday, alayhi salatu wasalam. So bil amsi, it has a kasra, but it's not mabni al al kasri, it's majroorun bil kasra. This is what? Majroorun, it is majroor with a kasra. With a kasra. It is majroorun bil kasrati. It's not mabani. But it has a kasra, but it's not mabani. Or if you mean, so two, two forms you understand so far? So if the word amsi is mudaf, or if the word amsi has alif lam, then it's mu'rab. Similarly, if you use the word Amsi to, to uh, oh, what do I know? Yesterday, yesterday we were little children playing in the park, and now today we're grown old men, we're back painting us. So, yesterday means yesterday, or it means yesteryear. 
long time ago, previously. I don't mean Tuesday. When I say Amsi, I mean long time ago, previously. So if I mean previously, I'm talking about like past time, the past. You know, yesterday we were children, or yesterday we had, you know, it seemed like yesterday we went for Umrah, or yesterday, you know, we had, we were yesterday, everybody was here, and we just studying, and today it is COVID, and only a few people are allowed in. So yesterday doesn't mean yesterday, as in Tuesday, or Sunday, or the day before, it means in the past, previously. So if you use Amsi in that meaning, it is also Mu'rab. So for example, if you say, ذَهَبْنَا إِلَى الْمَدْرَسَةِ أَمْسًا so previously, we went to Madrasa. فَأَلْتُ ذَلِكَ أَمْسًا For example, it's a Yawman mistake. أَمْسًا Meaning in the past. We, in the past. So if you mean أَمْسًا In the meaning of in the past. Then it's also Mu'rab. And if it's not any of these conditions. And majority of the time it is this. Majority of the time it is this. If you mean yesterday. As in the day before I am speaking. And there's no Alif Lam. And it's not Mudaf. Then it is Mabni according to Ahl Hijaz. Do you understand? But, oops, sorry. But generally speaking, but generally speaking, uh, this, is, this is how it's always used. It's not always, but 90% of the time, you will see it as Mabani al Kasr. That it has what? A Kasra at the end of it, and it's Mabani. Do you understand? There's some more. So we've done Mabani al Kasr. We'll do Mabani al Fatih tomorrow, inshallah. Any questions before we finish off? Does everybody understand? Okay, so we stop here today, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Wa nashadu an la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.